Hello everyone, welcome back to this Sunday Live. We're here in Hunstanton and uh, I thought I'd start today's live right at the very top of Hunstanton, uh, the area that is called Old Hunstanton and also has one of the best beaches in North Norfolk. I mean, look at that, it is absolutely amazing. Bit of a cold breeze today, um, but the sun is out and obviously because people have been locked up for such a long time, the beaches are really busy. It is gonna be very busy in Hunstanton. We're gonna walk from here uh, down to the other end where the fun fair is, walk through the town as well. As always, please make sure you give the video a like. And if you're watching it on replay, of course, I will be chatting to the people that are watching it live in the chat section, okay? So let's get it underway. And I've bought the extendable arm today as well to get some, uh, some really good shots. And probably because it's gonna be so busy, it will help no end. But look at that. You can see the people in the distance on the beach enjoying it. It should be a good picture because um, we're live, but it's a pre-record. So this was recorded literally this morning. Hope you're all okay this Sunday afternoon uh, in Hunstanton. We're starting actually the old end of Hunstanton. And um, I've said this before, you can actually stay in here. It looks well nice. You can imagine the views you have. And um, being in Hunstanton, remember, obviously, uh, you get a sunset here. We'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, let's... <coughs> Excuse me, let's do the chat. Can we say hello to Crispy? Thank you so much for um, for modding for us, Crispy. It was nice to see you in Blackpool last weekend. Um, and today's route is going to take us literally down towards the beach, towards the fun fair, and around some of the holiday parks here in Stan Stanton. It's actually a beautiful day for it, but uh, come say hello in the chat. Can we say hello to Wells? Hello to Catherine and Stephen. Helen's here as well. Hello to Luciana. Hope you're good. Sean Edwards is here in the house. Afternoon as well. Mick Munn is new. Welcome, Mick Munn. Thanks for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, Graham, it's 8.30 in the morning where I'm in sunny Mexico. Hope everyone's, everyone is well. Well, it's sunny here. The beaches here are absolutely massive, especially going towards um, Wells. They are fantastic. The beach in Hunstanton isn't overly that great, though, so uh, we'll come to that in a minute. Here are some people staying in a lovely little B&B. &B. You can actually stay at this lighthouse. I've said this before. I'd just like to say a big hello to you all because I haven't seen you all for a I while. I thought you weren't coming to do a chat. I'm not. I'm just popping in. <laughs> just want to say hi. Just popping in. Okay. Uh, Crispy, thank you so much for your £10 super oh, wow. chat. Was that a £10 super sticker? Wow. Thank you for that. You're too, you're too kind. That's As really always, nice. all the super chats go in the draw to win a walk with me mug when we do a live from home, which should be in a couple of weeks. But uh, that's the old lighthouse in Hunstanton. It's quite special, that. Remember, if you're enjoying the stream, just give it a share as well. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out enormously. By the way, that clicking is the microphone you might be able to hear. Um, hello, Craig. Afternoon to Lee. Bethany's here as well. Decimate. Gabby, smiley face. Aww. Decimate with the donuts. Ooh. Lewis is here as well. Hello We're gonna to John. We're going to have a donut milkshake in a bit, aren't we? We're going to try something called a donut milkshake. I don't know if anyone else has tried this, but we're uh, we're rather excited we're to good. try. We'll have vlog you, it. We'll vlog it, and then I we'll thought you them. weren't here. I'm and not. I'm going. I'm going. Sorry. I'm, all right. Okay. I just couldn't resist. I missed you all too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon from Wales. Simon is here. No dating. Simon. <laughs> John. Hello. 
afternoon. Hope you're good. Um, I want to actually take a little bit of a, uh, a shot of the lighthouse underneath this arch because it looks really pretty. And it's a gorgeous day. Some posh houses. As most seaside little locations, always have posh houses in the old part, don't they? Look at that. I love that view. You can imagine what that used to look like back in the day when the lighthouse was on top of that. Debs, hi Gabby, bye Gabby. Yeah, she's gone. There's a random dog here. There is some history about it, but um, there's these history boards all up and down Hunstanton. And did you know that Hunstanton was actually discovered by one particular man called Henry Lestrange? I say it was discovered. He launched it as a seaside or a Victorian seaside holiday destination. And it's been going um, strong ever since. Hi, Vonnie. Hope you're all right. Deb says donut milkshake sounds good. It does. I don't understand what the flavour is going to be, though, other than donuts. Surely they've got to put some flavour in there. I hope so. Uh, Lewis, hope you're all right. Are you doing it live? Lewis, because there's no signal um, in Hunstanton, I've done it like this. I wanted to do a live today, so I thought we'll do the live pre-recorded and the chat live. So you can come and chat to me live. If you're watching this on replay, of course, I'm doing the commentary and also chatting to people who are live in the chat. It can get confusing, I know. <laughs> Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. Um, as we walk down from the old part of um, Hunstanton towards the beach, it's going to get very busy. So, like I said, I've bought my extendable rod to put the camera right on the top of it. And it gives you a better field of view. It does make people stare at me. And you'll see a lot of people looking, going, what on earth are you doing? But yes, that is what I'm doing. But a beautiful day. Um, and looking towards Skegness in the distance as well. Hi Kevin, hope you're doing okay. Scott says he's going to Hunstanton in August. You're going to Searles Holiday Park. Searles is a nice park. I actually do like that. It's really nice. Hello Melissa. Hope you're alright this afternoon. Thank you Renato. Hello to Rachel. She's here as well. John says the donuts in Hemsby are lush. They are indeed. There's some nice houses here with the balconies taking full view of um, the North Sea. Looks really nice, doesn't it? love that I like that house cladding is all the thing now isn't it all houses like especially on the coast are getting done with cladding especially the blue cladding that's one of my favorite i just <laughs> i just painted my fence in blue fence paint very expensive Stuart, how are you today after your weekend in blackpool blackpool was amazing if you missed the videos from blackpool go and check them out on my channel after you've watched this live i do a uh, pleasure beach vlog as well as checking out all the piers in Blackpool as well and I go underneath the piers and they're so different all of the piers are so different in Blackpool we're talking about Hunstanton pier though it has suffered with many fires in the past and now it's not really a pier we'll see why it's a peerless pier uh, Linda no live from home this month we will be live this month but Gabby's um, working I'll try and do it next weekend if I can what's my favorite place to do a live stream love your recent Blackpool videos Bethany my favorite place to do a live stream is where I can get a good signal <laughs> Lewis can you say happy birthday to me it was my birthday yesterday happy birthday Lewis how old were you 25 all over again uh, Renato hello Tim and Gabby I will be out on my motorbike to Chroma after this live stream what a beautiful day it is as well um, Ewan, good luck for Blackpool against Lincoln City for League One playoffs at Wembley. I know they've lit up the tower. By the way, the beach here is so weird. It is the most weirdest beach I've ever been to. Literally, if you go to the beach at the northern end, it is so much nicer. But um, you'll see why the beach is very chalky and got bits of uh, white chalk on the beach. Big Sean is here as well. Hello to Lynn Davis. John, summer has finally arrived. I know, we don't want to be a little bit too excited because we know that summer can very quickly disappear. Um, Matt, hello to you. Have a pint for me at the marina in Old Hunstanton. Mariner, is that Mariner? Sorry. Hello to Mick, just done the Blackpool vids. Great, thanks Mick. Fossil teeth there on the beach, yeah. It's Crispy's birthday too. Is it really your birthday today, KK? I didn't know that. If it is, happy birthday. 
Hi Andy, thank you very much. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. It helps me out no end. There's also a share button. You can share it on social media. That also helps me out. If you know someone who loves Hunt Stanton, why not give it a share so they can relive their Hunt Stanton memories? Doesn't it make a difference, actually, me holding up the, uh, the gimbal on a stick? I'll bring it down occasionally because people stare at me weirdly. It is a little bit of a trek towards we get to the seafront. We'll be there in a moment, but uh, I had to walk from Old Hunt Stanton because it is really pretty up here. Um, so, happy birthday, Crispy. I don't know how old you are. I will have to um, mute the background audio because there will be some live music coming up. We're also going to take a look at the fun fair because the fun fair has had um, some changes to it this year. There's now a Helter Scouter, which is weird because I always thought Hunt Stanton did have a Helter Scouter, but... There is a Helter Scouter and a big wheel that has arrived as well. Melissa, so right, Tim. Weather is cold and rainy. Where are you, Melissa, again? Tell me where you are. We all need to say happy birthday to KK in the vlog, if we can. Primitive entertainment ideas. Wow, it beautiful video. Thank you very much. Mick just tweeted it. Thanks, Mick. Appreciate that. Look at the beach. So many people on the beach today as well. But this part... You can't see it, but underneath are those um, iconic um, red, orange cliffs of Hun Stanton. If you want to see Hun Stanton from the air, once you finish this, in the description I've placed a video and you can see a full summer tour of Hun Stanton from last year. But um, there's a lot of... <laughs> see why he's looking at me? There's a lot of greenery up here in old Hun Stanton. And um, with me being up this high, you get a great shot, don't you? Looking really good. Decimate, happy birthday, KK. All the best. Some virtual donuts for you. Foxy B, wave to the seals at the sea life for us, please. Will do. Michael Bradbrook Brook is here. Hello to you, Michael. Hi, Tim. Can you do a live from Kesa Town Centre? Kesa is not a town. It's a village. Hi, Tim. I'm going to Hunt Stanton on holiday on Tuesday. I love Hunt Stanton. Let's hope the sun's shining for you as well. Uh, ink spiller. There are loads of fossils on Hunstanton Beach. You're absolutely right. Vivian, good afternoon to you all from Kidderminster in Worcestershire. Looks beautiful. There it is. Nikki's here. Hi, Tim, from me and my mum. Pike on a trike. <laughs> is there any pike here? I don't know. Um, there's these little plaques. This is the Wolf Trail. There's lots of um, local legends about Black Shuck and the wolves that... Uh, prowl the Norfolk landscape and um, if you're lucky or unlucky you might see one in the early hours good afternoon from sunny Sheffield can you give my dad Jack a shout out he which he watches your videos religiously thank you Stephen appreciate that yeah the beach is very special um, I would walk down to this part of the beach but I haven't got the right shoes for it today so it's not a good idea if you're liking the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously and it doesn't cost you anything. If you would like to support the channel, you can, of course, on the bottom left, hit that square dollar sign uh, and give Super Chats as much as you want. It appreciates, uh, I really do appreciate it, of course. helps me out no end to continue doing videos like this. And also, you go in the draw to win a Walk With Me mug at the end of the month. Uh, Yvonne is here. Hi, Tim. It'll be great. I'll be in Great Yarmouth in August. Looking forward to it. James is here. Hello to James from Sunny Audley. Yeah, the weather is banging today. Do you know what? I look very pasty at the beginning of the video and um, getting sunburned very easily as well. You've got to put um, sun cream on. Deborah's here, the mother-in-law. Thank you very much. Being from Leicester, we always went out to the East Coast for days out. Mick Munn. Is the Wash Monster still there? Ink Spiller. The Wash Monster the mo the Wash Monster is still here and we'll see it in just a little bit. It's out and about today. If you've never seen the Wash Monster, it's so unique. It's a boat that's on wheels because the tide goes out really far here in Hunt Stanton. It will take you out on a boat um, that will I think you can see it just there, at the right to the screen. I'll show it you in a little bit because it will be coming into dock. Um, but it takes you out to see the seals. We'll come and have a look at that in a little bit. Tracy, please say hello to Robert and Snowy, the noisy bird. They watch you every week. Thank you, Tracy. Don't you find these? Whenever you come to any seaside location, they're all designed differently. Some are old, some are new. Coming up here to the Salad Bowl Cafe and Ice Cream Parlour. Interesting name for a little cafe. But yeah. 
Pluto, there is a sandy beach. We'll come to the beach in a little bit. I can show you exactly what it's like. Uh, 91 thumbs up. Keep hitting that thumbs up. It's absolutely free to do. James, there is a pier here. We'll check that out. There's a photo of Hen... I think that's Henry Lestrange. The guy who basically invented... He didn't invent it, but he made it uh, into a seaside resort in the Victorian era. Really must do the Wash Monster next time we're there. Foxy B, you'll love it. I thought about doing a video, but it was just too busy on there. So nice there, Tim. Melissa. Karen said it's a beautiful place. It is indeed. And what is unique about Hunstanton, bearing in mind we are on the East Coast, you get sunsets here, which really does mess you up completely. And also, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera. It's very clear today, but in the distance, you can actually see Skegness. But this is a nice little area to come. It's called the Lookout Point. There's the cliffs, the red and uh, white chalky cliffs of Hunstanton. And yeah, you can find some weird things on the beach when you go down there. But um, wear appropriate shoes. Flip-flops are not a good idea. The tide does go out for a very... It uh, does go out very far here. But um, this is great, the lookout. And uh, let me just show you this map in just a sec. Hang on, where is it? Happy birthday, KK. You haven't put, told us how, high, uh, how old you are. Let me know what the signal is like, as always. I need those signal updates, even though this is kind of recorded but live. I'm still having problems with bit uh, with the uh, the torrent and stuff like that. So yeah, this just goes to show you that facing west, but on the east coast, and that's where we are. And you can see all the way to Gibraltar Point and uh, Skegness. So when you look out from Hunstanton, you actually see Skegness, which is crazy, right? Karen, it is a beautiful place. Pike of the Trike, yes, using the new gimbal. It's working well. Foxy B, as always, I can uh, always guarantee that you'll update us on the signal. The way I'm doing this is um, doing it from home. I, 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 I literally recorded this just a few hours ago. Rushed home, but there is a little bit of sea mist floating around there. Beautiful day for it. Absolutely correct, Julia. It is... Um, I'm also going to be live on Wednesday this week, Wednesday evening. Um, I'll be coming live from the Suffolk coast. I will be in Felixstowe. Hopefully you'll be able to join us for that. Signal's great. Yeah, I'm broadcasting in 1080p for the live, not 4K. Michael, thank you. Keep us updated with the signal if it lags or anything. Because it might do this afternoon. It's all depending on internet quality, isn't it? People say, why? when I, the, the lives are doing my head in a little bit in the sense that I want to bring you alive because they're a different kind of aspect to walking on my normal videos while I edit them. But the reason why I like to do lives like this is I can guarantee the picture quality, whereas when we do a live in a different seaside location, um, the signals are not always the best. And so when it drops out, it makes me... Um, gutted when the the signals but because i'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to video so i always want to make sure it's uh, crisp quality just walking through the um the seafront gardens i'll just show you up here there's a little bit of a cafe up here new gimbal makes it look like you're walking with a drone i know it does doesn't it i really like that the smoothness of it you'll never want to walk without the smoothness of it's called a dji pocket 2 it's a combo kit that I've got. It's got a mic. Don't walk it. Do what? Why do people do that? I'm walking with this gimbal and I'm literally, they can see because it's so obvious, but they'll walk right in front of me. <coughs> I wanted to show you this cafe up here. It's hidden, but a nice place to come and get an ice cream, maybe some donuts as well. And they've even got the old fashioned Walls ice cream logo that I actually remember here, look on the left as a kid. Must have been about 12. I've got photos of that when I was a kid. Tracy's watching at work. How naughty. Ah, oh, Tracy, you're at work on a sunny day like this. I know. It's awful, isn't it? Explore with Andy. Good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Remember to hit that thumbs up. Helps me out enormously. Um, comment on the video as well. That also helps me out. You know when the video is live now, you're doing it in the chat. But if you comment underneath the video, especially when it's um, it's gone live, that also helps me out. 
Oh, we dropped off a little bit there. Don't do it. Yeah, so this is the um, the Seafront Gardens in Hunstanton. We're, we're going to walk towards the pier as well, which is peerless. I don't fully understand why um, they've never tried, and maybe it's to do with planning, but why they never have tried to continue building out the pier to what it used to be. I don't know. Maybe budget, something like that. But um, it looks weird, but it's uh, there is still a pier, although you can't really class it as a pier. Pat's watching from Guernsey. Hello, Pat. Uh, how far is this from Great Yarmouth? This is um, uh, about a two-hour drive from Great Yarmouth on the North Norfolk coast. In fact, this is where the uh, the North Norfolk path starts. Love the yucca plants and the palm tree. I always call them palm trees, yucca plants. People need to watch where they are going. People looked inside for... <laughs> If I could have tried, this happens all the time. It does my head in. In fact, I swear that people deliberately just walk in front of me as well. 112 thumbs up. Keep the thumbs up coming. I really do appreciate it. If you're enjoying the live from Hunstanton this afternoon, it's one of these walks where you won't see too much just here until we get onto the main green. And it, green, and it is very busy today, so... Uh, I am going to get a lot of strange looks because people always 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 ask me, do I get strange looks? And the answer is yes. Some old, there's the pier. You saw a photo of it there. Bubba, it is a nice day for it. Absolutely correct. Julia Peerless Pier. Very true. <laughs> if you're liking it, of course, hit the thumbs up and give it a share. You can just hit that share button, that little arrow. You can share it to social media if you want. Always helps me out. We bang on about the thumbs up because when you're doing a live, it does push it out to more of my subscribers. It has been a busy weekend for videos. If you want to check out the videos that I did in Blackpool, I checked out all three Blackpool piers, South Pier, North Pier and Central Pier. And literally by far, South Pier underneath it is totally amazing. It's like a completely different world. So after you've watched this, make sure you go and check out my Blackpool Pleasure Beach one and Blackpool Piers video. There you go. You can see how far we've walked already from the uh, the old part of uh, Hunstanton. Just walking briefly into the town. I'll show you the town as well. It's quite small. There's the pier. As you can see, it looks weird, doesn't it? It's like, where's the rest of it? It is well kept. It's won lots of awards, Hunstanton in bloom. Nice hotel here to have an outside drink. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get lots of weird views now because I'm holding the gimbal really high up. And people are going to look very strange. Look, look. <laughs> what are you doing? It does look weird. If you ever see me walking around, I do apologise. But I'm trying to get the best shots I can for you guys. Because the gimbal gives me a little bit of height. This is Hunstanton Green. And a lot of people picnic on here. Gabby was here. But um, again, she's feeling a little bit rough today. So she's taking it easy. But she will appear. The Golden Line Hotel. Love this hotel. If you can come and stay here. It's got lovely views across the green. I will just show you into the town. It's very small. It's a bit like um, a high street more than anything else. Jason, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. James, how old is the pier? Don't quote me how old the pier is, but um, they've redone it recently. People are ordering from the, uh, from the window there. I like that. Ordering their beers from the window. I so want a beer right now, but I can't. Gabby won't let me. Hello from Ireland. Thank you for joining us on the stream. Ash, has anyone ever had an issue with your recording? Yes. But not, to be honest, not really. Um, I try if I could, I try not to, I don't focus on specific people anyway, but when you're walking, it's inevitable. There's no laws against it, but um, if I, I try to turn away from people when they're very close up, because I know they don't like it, so I'm not going to feature them, so don't worry. I'm very conscientious like that. Unlike other walking channels, they don't seem to care and people get in full... Especially imagine if you're off work or pulling a sickie. You'd be gutted, wouldn't you? <laughs> you must come and visit Redcar. They have a vertical pier. Steve and I have no idea what you mean by that. What do you mean a vertical pier? How does that even work? Horizontal? Yeah. Vertical? That jellyfish on Blackpool Vlogs was massive. It was, Michael. Indeed. Watch out. Thank you. I'm not in a car. Foxy B, thanks for the update. So this is Hunstanton Town Centre. 
this is it basically you've got a um a bank uh a boot and this is basically the high street that's it. it it does go around the other side as well some tiny little shops there but um yeah that's hunstanton high street for you in fact it also has the world's largest joke shop which i will show you in a second i'm sure someone's going to quote me if i'm wrong hello stuart thanks for joining us are there any music festivals there? James, well, there's a guy in the bandstand, which we'll come across in a little bit. Wolfie's video and photography. Look how old that sign is. And one of the um, most popular fish and chip shops is here on the left. There's always queue, so I'm surprised there's no queue today, actually. Fishers. There's always a big queue for fish and chips here on the left. But yes, yeah, quite quiet today. There you go, you might have saw my reflection there, wearing a very, very embarrassing yellow top, which means I stand out like a sore thumb. Suzanne, thankfully not. Uh, I can't believe it. I've just shared my live stream to my good friend Eric, and he's visiting from Birmingham. He's now going to the Sea Life Centre. Can you give him a shout out? Hello to Eric, that's Ink Spiller. I'm just walking up here because this is Britain's largest joke shop apparently or the UK well the world's I'm sure someone will correct me if it is the world's if you've just joined us we're live in Hunstanton I'm doing um, a bit of a shout out to you all in the live chat if you're watching this on replay live commentary as well world of fun Brit yeah that's it not the world's it's Britain's largest joke shop if you want to see what this looks like inside the link is in the description check it out after you've watched this video but um, yeah laughing powder itching powder all that kind of stuff does that actually work though does it really work like the laughing powder in it no itching powder that's what it is Tom's vlogs thanks for joining us this afternoon Ash very nice stable video I've been tempted to purchase the DJI Osmo pocket very small discreet and easy to carry Ash you might say that but I tell you what I still get people staring at me and so many people very inquisitive and asking me, what am I doing? What is that? Is that a camera on a stick? Yes, it is. Uh, the council are on the ball there. The place looks immaculate. Scott, um, Hunstanton Council are very proud of their gardens. They are always very nice. In fact, um, it was last year when I did the video of Hunstanton. And one of the councillors actually sent me a message thanking me for... Um, the video and how I made Hun Stanton look so lovely well I didn't need to make it look lovely it just was just here on the right hand side there is a um, um, a statue of Henry Lestrange the guy who um, kind of invented Hun Stanton as a seaside retreat for Victorian holidays back in the day you can just see him there there's people crowding around it so I won't uh, I won't go up you can see Holly there she's walking along <laughs> um, the itching powder goes yeah it does work does it i tried it on my brother thanks kelly you're welcome thanks for joining us vivian i just looked it up and there is a vertical pier in red car but it won't let me i don't get what you mean a vertical pier well it goes upwards anyway we'll walk to hunstanton pier i will walk also underneath it because you can walk underneath it even though there isn't really much to see but i will do that in just a little bit 128 thumbs up Hit the thumbs up. Helps me out enormously. Super chats are more than welcome. Just wear the smiley face emojis to the left. That little square box with a dollar sign. Uh, Jan, if you'd like to do a super chat, you can give whatever you want. It helps support the channel. Thank you immensely. And as always, everyone that does give a super chat, you go in the draw at the end of the month and you could be winning a Walk With Me mug. Are there any bowling greens? James, um, don't know. Yes, there are. We've passed them, actually. We're going to get to a very busy part of Hunstanton now, so we're going to be walking along the prom. We'll check out the beach as well. The tide goes out really far. And the wash monster as well. I was talking about this earlier. The wash monster is an impressive beast of a boat that's on wheels. This is the pier. It's, um, what is it? SHS Pier Family Entertainment. It's quite big. There's a bowling alley upstairs as well. Oh, I see, Michael. It's yes, it's a tower. Why would yes? But they call it a pier, right? I reckon she's gone up. Something like that. 
Is Smidge having a house party whilst you're out? He always has a house party when we're not around. So there's um, there's a guy. You, I've got to try and mute this a little bit because there's live music and I don't want to get demonetized or a copyright strike. But um, there is a guy in the bandstand there doing some live music. So I've got to keep talking. I'm just going to duck the background music. But you always find these motorcycles here. Every single time on a busy day, there will be motorbikes down here, always lined up. If you're a bit of a petrol head, you'll love to check out these motorbikes. Some of them are pretty impressive, actually. Um, Harley Davidson's. There's one at the end I want to show you, actually, which has been. Um, has got really good paintwork on it. There's a bandstand, someone singing along in there. I better keep talking because otherwise I'll get demonetized. Copyright strikes. YouTube are pretty hot on that at the moment. Did you know the wash monster was used in. where? I don't get what you mean by that. Yeah. <laughs> the scooters are out as well. It's not like Benidorm. It's Hun Stanton. It's fine. Julie, the peerless pier is just there. Look, you can't. It does not go out into the sea at all. In fact, it barely goes out onto the promenade. But these bikes um, are pretty good. There's ducks. I don't know why there's ducks, but there's some random ducks here quacking away. I always find it weird to see ducks at the seaside. It's like, how does it work? Check this out. Look at this. Now that is, I'm not a big bike fan, but the way that's been um, painted on there, Thunderbirds, look at that. And the seat as well, all embroidered. Looks so good. Yeah, if you want to check me out on Facebook, you can do. All the links are in the description. Give my Facebook page a like, or you can just search for it, Walk With Me Tim, on Twitter and on Instagram as well. Right, heading down to the uh, look at the queue for the ice creams today. Ugh. Sure, the wash monster was World War II, Rapid Man. Something, I think something like that. Vietnam. Or is it really? So this is the main part of Hun Stanton. You can see in the distance there the fun fair, which we'll have a walk around in just a little bit. But the beach in Hun Stanton, it's not my favourite beach, I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of... Uh, what look like bricks but this is all from the cliffs further up uh, there's a lot of chalk on the beach as well there's all those red rocks too linda thank you very much for your two pound super sticker really do appreciate that there is some um, places to go and eat on the seafront but you know what i tried to get a hot dog and it was just so busy i gave up in the end doesn't isn't that really annoying when you want like some ice cream or a hot dog and the queue is really long and people are taking ages and you know I was at one of these stalls and they were doing hot dogs and it was just like they were cooking one hot dog serving one person and then waited till they did the next one it was just like get the orders and get the get the dogs cooking sounds weird doesn't it yeah she did she's she's walking behind me i don't focus on her you can't really see her nice bar there is at the water side um yeah the beach we'll go on the beach in just a moment i've got to put the gimbal up pretty high here this gives me a lot of scope actually shout out to thomas's number one bingo it's been there since i was a kid i all often remember seeing that and i think um for those people that are familiar with hun stanton maybe going there as children we all remember that arcade it's been there for a very long time yeah the beach it's it's very it's, it's very stony it's not nice for um for going down there without your flip-flops on spencer's try to get a hot dog there earlier couldn't very busy <laughs> I hope you're all having a good bank holiday weekend. I hope it's as sunny as it is in Hun Stanton today. I know that on the east coast there's a little bit of coastal mist coming in, which is just blooming typical. And when we get the sea breeze as well this time of year, people come from inland, they come down to the coast and realise it's like 15, 16 degrees, but people will still persevere and actually come down in their shorts and their flip-flops. I see it in Great Yarmouth all the time. We'll have like temperatures of 13 degrees. Coastal mist will come in and people will still be like, I'm on holiday. I'm wearing my shorts. I'm wearing my flip-flops. I don't care. So just to the left, there's the Oasis swimming pool. 
on Hunstanton Seafront, which is quite nice to go and have a swim, check out the sea. You can see the Howter Skelter and the Big Wheel. I'm sure they used to have a Howter Skelter back at the uh, the fun fair years ago. There's donkey rides going on. I remember donkey rides as a kid. And you can see the wash monster. It is there, right in front of us. It is coming in. And I'll walk up to it. And I think we're going to time it perfectly as it comes in. If you've never seen this wash monster, it's a, uh, a very impressive boat beast of a thing. Stuart said it's sunny in York today. Love it. Sunny everywhere, isn't it? Keep those thumbs up coming. 142. It doesn't cost you anything. Of course, pony rides have gone up since I was a kid. £3 for a pony ride. I remember when they were a quid. See you later, Pike on a trike. Have a good afternoon. Phil, I use a Pocket 2 today. I also use my phone most of the time. Hi Phil, welcome to the stream. Let's get to 200 thumbs up. Just smash that thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything to do. Martin, is it really bad weather in Brighton today? There's the wash monster. It's coming in. We will see if we can um, get to it as it docks. And I think I might time this perfectly. Michael, sitting in his back garden watching this in the sun. Hope you've got a, a drinky poos going on, Michael. This has been here since I was a kid. These Thompson's um, uh, rock stool donuts. I think some of that um, artwork has been there since I was a kid as well. This is a popular place which has opened up in the last few years. Terrace bar, because there was nothing like this on Hunt Stanton Seafront. So it's really nice. You can sit up there, have a drink and look out to the sea. And look out to Skegness as well. Here comes the wash monster. Now you can actually go on this um, privately as well if you want to spend a little bit of money, a bit more money. It's owned by Searles Holiday Park, um, but it's been running for quite some time. But um, look at this beast. Yeah, the Sea Life Centre is still here, Karen. We'll see that in a second. But just watch how people get out, right? The front of the uh, the boat comes down. And you can see all the, uh, the wheel marks of where it's been. There's two running today, actually. And um, so I think they run every 30... I don't quote me, every 30 minutes or something like that. Right, look at that. See, and that's how you get out the wash monster. Was that £16? I think it was. But anyway, this is where you were, uh, Captain Cove. This is where you book um, the tur There's There's many tours they do as well, so it's definitely worth checking out. And on a nice sunny day like this, uh, it's, it's worth doing. Bit of a breeze out there, though. In fact, I'll come back later and we'll see if it um, if it heads back out again. I would have literally gone on there live, but there's just far too many people and it wouldn't be fair. Hello Ashley Explores, hope you're alright this Sunday afternoon, thanks for joining us on the stream. Tim, the weather is going to be hot all week. It depends where you are, on the coast it's a little bit cooler. Perfect timing, Stuart, I know, it's almost like I planned it. <laughs> so there is, um, there's a few bits on the seafront, like the Adventure Golf and uh, the Sea Life Centre. 
which used to be the Sea Life Sanctuary, and then um, they've changed it into the Sea Life. You can see the uh, the new big wheel here in Hunstanton and the Helter Skelter. We'll come up to the fun fair in just a little bit if you're a big fan of the uh, the fun fair here in Hunstanton. 150 thumbs up, 300 people watching. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. If you've not hit the thumbs up already, please make sure you do. Uh, Graham's watching this sitting under a 70-foot palm tree. Enjoy watching your walk, Tim. Good work. Thanks, Graham. Very jealous. Where are you right now, then? Uh, Pam's people. It'd be good to do a live on the boat. It would be, Pam, but the thing is, there's too many people on there, and uh, I would get in their way, so... I don't want to annoy people where I can help it. But I will try in the future. So I will have to duck down the music in a little bit because, uh, or the background, because there's a lot of music coming from the fun fair. And I don't want to get a copyright strike. Ooh, nice red dress. And I think in just a little bit we'll go on the beach. I'm just going to bring the music down a little bit. Um, if you want to do a shout out as well, I'm live in the chat. If you're watching this on replay, of course, I can't. So <laughs> I know a, bit, a few people when you're watching this back on replay. If you're watching this on replay, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below if you've ever been to Hun Stanton. Um, it is a very unique place on the east coast of East Anglia because you get a sunset and also you can see Skegness from here as well. But it's on the mouth of the wash. <clears throat> That's why the tides go out. <clears throat> yeah look at that there's the wheel that landed this year and the helter scouter i have to turn this music down because it's going to get very loud with music so just bear with me a moment ellie good afternoon to you ellie hope you're okay oh graham you're in mexico in your garden very jealous what's the temperature like in uh, mexico right now what's the time in mexico isn't it early morning the Ferris wheel and how to scout are travelling rides temporary. Are they temporary? I thought they're there for um, uh, for good now. Because I always remember a Helter Scouter here um, at uh, the fun fair. One of my favourite rides. What do they call it? Street dance or something like that. Makes you completely, completely sick. But um, yeah, I love that. And it depends. Some go fast, some go slow, don't they? We'll actually have a walk around the fair in just a little bit. First, though, I want to take you down to the beach. People always ask, go down to the beach. So we'll do that on this live because we know that the uh, the connection will not drop out. Ashley, Gabby is not here today. Well, she is here, but she's um, she's taken it easy. She did come and chat briefly, but uh, I think she's gone to see her dad. We're on holiday. Shame we're not in Hunt Santa today. We would have come and said hello. Melody and Sophia. We love the videos. Pam's people. Thank you very much, Pam's people. Rachel, hello. They've took the umbrellas away at the fun fair. Rachel, they haven't. They are still there. I'll show you the umbrellas in just a little bit. But first, let's head down to the beach. Let's head down to the water as well. I just don't want to ruin my shoes. The beach is not nice here. I'm not going to lie. It's it's great. It's it's no different to a shingle beach, I guess. But you've got lots of um, sharp rocks, lots of chalk as well. There's the fun fair. Actually, you will find lots of fossils down here. I'll just go on the other side of this uh, windbreak. Let me know what the signal is like down here on the beach as well, please. Shauna, if you would like to give a, a donation to the channel, that's more than welcome. All you need to do is just basically um, hit that um, little box with the dollar sign. That's how you give a super chat. Thank you very much. There's someone with a tent down here. I don't think they're staying overnight, but um, wind breaks. They're a good thing on Hunstanton Beach. Very valuable on a day like today when you get the sea breeze. Thanks, Foxy B. Daniel, yeah, the beach in Old Hunstanton is the best, actually. It's probably best to go towards Old Hunstanton. The beaches up there are amazing. In fact, we can um, just see the old cliffs of Hunstanton there, the fun fair. Having a bit of a 360. Thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, Lewis. Yeah. 
I'm quite surprised. I took a gamble because I thought it's being a bank holiday. A lot of people will not be uh, wanting to watch YouTube today. They'll be wanting to enjoy the weather. I know that um, in Great Yarmouth it's gone a little bit misty and a little bit foggy. I think in Chroma as well. The old sea mist is coming in. But yeah, the tide goes out for miles here in Hunstanton. Screenshot that. Karen, is the jellyfish as big as the one you saw in Blackpool? No, thankfully not. There are some clouds on the horizon, but I don't think we're going to get any rain, thankfully. Has, May's weather's just been awful. I mean, it's so nice to have the sun, isn't it? It really is. It's like people have just gone a little bit crazy. I mean, I've put my shorts on and got pale legs and look embarrassing, but I've got to do it, otherwise I won't get any tan on my legs. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk up towards this calf right at the end of Hunstanton. Then we'll walk back through the fun fair as well. And also take a look under Hunstanton Pier. Ellie, I believe that uh, it's between May and September. Don't quote me. Most places on the coast it's between May. Someone said about the umbrellas. Can you see them? The umbrellas are just there. They're flying right now. Let's get to 200 thumbs up. 161 right now. Just hit the thumbs up. It's free to do. It doesn't cost you anything. And of course, if you're brand new to the channel, I do live videos and of course do walks for the great British seaside across the country and city walks as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Big red button. Subscribe. Bottom right hand corner. And remember to click the notification bell so you know when I go live or upload a video. Paul, she won't say hello to you. Went to Chroma this morning. Cloudy there. More sunny in Norwich. Lewis, absolutely right. It's that sea breeze. They, The forecasters did say that uh, the sea breeze was going to kick in and it was going to bring up lots of mist and low cloud onto the coast, which is a bit rubbish. So I'm glad that I filmed this when I did. Thanks, Tony, for the update. You're absolutely right. So there is actually some beach huts in Hunstanton. I'll show you those just up here in just a little bit, actually. Rachel, you can... Ah, you did see them, Rachel. So to the right, you can see um, Boston and also Skegness when, we, uh, when I do a 360, if your eyes are that good. But there is a caravan park here right by the beach. Vivian, are you going to do any walks around the Welsh coast too, like Porth, Crawl, Aberystwyth and places like that? Vivian, yes. I'm going to be doing the south coast in the next couple of weeks and also um, going to be doing a video from somewhere very different. Spare the moment thing. Uh, you'll have to wait and see where I'm coming live from as well in a uh, couple of weeks' time. Ashley, this is a voice live. This was recorded early this morning. Well, not early this morning, lunchtime. Ellie, you should go to Canada. If I could afford it, I would. James went to Orford Ness yesterday. Great place for you to do a video, Tim. Orford Ness. There's not really much there. It's nice, but there's not really much there in Orford Ness. But yeah, I, I see your point. Enjoyed under the piers at Blackpool. I hope one day we'll see you in Buxton. Wesley. Yeah, if you haven't checked out the videos from this weekend... I've done two videos from Blackpool, one going underneath the piers and checking out the piers in Blackpool and the other one was a video on the Blackpool Pleasure Beach as they celebrated their 125th year and a massive thanks to those guys for letting me to come and film around the park too. In fact, actually, despite what you might see, you're not actually allowed to film on the roller coasters at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. They do not allow you, even though you'll still see some videos on, but you can get into trouble. So. Um, I was obviously obeying the rules, but I know there are some other videos with um, uh, the roller coasters on. But um, yeah, for safety, unless you've even got a chest mounted GoPro, they don't let you. Ellie, what are you on about? It's a bit cold and snowy. Tracy, I'm not a weather forecaster, but um, I would I would say the weather tomorrow in Cromer is going to be like it is today. You might get some sunshine, you might get some misty bits, and you'll definitely get the sea breeze. Bearing in mind the temperature of the sea 
the North Sea at the moment is about 9 degrees. So when the wind comes off the sea, it's going to be very cold. And it kind of ruins it. But it, you always get that in June and July. In fact, you can get it in August as well. But it's when the warm, uh, when the uh, the wind comes from the south or from from inland is when it um, it gets nice and warm. But then that's when it's dangerous because that's when you call an offshore wind. And then if you've got inflatables out in the sea, that's when they go out to sea. And the best thing, uh, they do have lifeguards. I haven't seen them actually on on Stanton Beach. They do normally have lifeguards. Oh, in Canada, it's snowy, really. Blimey. Yeah, this is a nice part to come up. Um, going towards Heacham. There's a nice little cafe here. And you were asking, someone asked about beach huts, but there are some beach huts here. Look at the very top end of Hunstanton Seafront. And it's weird because they're in the middle of a, a caravan park. Signal, hope it hasn't gone a bit dodged. Let me know. There's a big party on the beach there. Look at that. You see this is the place to be today on a sunny day. Barbecue on the beach. You can probably see Skegness in the distance if you've got really good eyesight. Yeah, I mean, let me know what the signal's like because I think it's dropping out just a little bit. So we're just going to walk up these stairs and uh, swing over to the holiday park um, where all they hold all the jet skis and check out these beach huts here as well. It is sunny in Bath right now. Hello, Stephen. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Glad you guys have got some nice weather in England and elsewhere. Melissa, thanks. So these beach huts are so weird because there's a caravan park here and um, in front of the caravans all these beach huts. But I think these beach huts were here first before they stuck the caravans in. But um, they're really random that they're just here on this bit of grass. But that's what I remember as a kid in Hunstanton. Some pretty nice names. Some of these are for sale I think as well. I think you're looking at around about 38 grand. Foxy B, thanks for the update. Twenty thousand, Karen. Yeah, I know. Small change, and I don't know whether some of these actually come with electricity or not. I don't know. Some of them may do, but you can't sleep in them overnight. I don't think. <coughs> it says excellent condition, so it should be all right. Yeah, that one's looking a little bit sorry for itself. I'm just going to walk through this caravan park. We're going to walk um, to one of the most popular places to come and um, have a picnic when you're in Hunstanton. A lot of people park their cars here as well. Ian, thanks for the update. Um, you can launch a jet ski from here as well. I'm so gutted. I actually used to have a jet ski, but the problem I had was uh, having a small house and small garden. I couldn't park the jet ski in the garden. I had to go and pay for it to be stored um, and it costs a lot of money but I love sea -dews. I mean look at that one that is well nice definitely my colours in yellow anyone else got a jet ski jet ski fans I absolutely love jet skis I wish I could do more jet skiing in the UK obviously I need to buy one first but these look all pretty new look at the engine on this boat look massive thing like that and then look at the propeller it's quite small isn't it it's amazing. Doesn't need much. You find them on yachts as well. Hardly anything. I bet that goes quite fast. Ashley, you're right. Yeah, buy it, own it, but you can't sleep in your own property. Weird rule. I know. Who made these rules up? Explore with Andy. I have bought my own paddleboard for the first time this summer. And I bought it from um, the range. They were doing a deal. It was about 300 quid. An inflatable one so I thought great I can stick that in the back of the car and then once I've done a video I can go for it that's um Searles holiday park there a big um a big 
a big holiday park in Hunstanton, one of the entrances there. Amanda, thank you for joining us. So people often ask, where do they store the um, the uh, those big boats at night? The wash monsters. They store them here. Graham, stop making me jealous. That would be very nice to have a jet ski around Acapulco. <laughs> yeah, this is where they store the wash monsters. There's one just over there. Two of them are out at the moment, but um, this is where they keep them overnight. Keep them safe. Lewis, I missed that. What did you mean? Can we get to 200 thumbs up, please? Make sure you hit that thumbs up. 188 thumbs up so far. Steve Gabby is not with us today. 196 thumbs up. Come on, let's get to 200. 300 people watching. There are some amusements up here as well. They're quite a way for away. Um, hopefully the signal has improved a little bit. It's just a little bit laggy at the moment. Let us up, Nate. Let us know what the signal's like. It should be alright now. There is a Vegas in Hunstanton and it's up here. So this is where most people park their cars and also have a picnic. I remember my dad bringing me here as a kid um, and even actually brought his camper van here. I'm sure you used to be able to just have your cat Back in the days when you could just have a camper van, park it up and stay in it overnight. You can't do that anymore, can you? It is a little bit laggy. Sorry about that. It's the internet connection. Karen, you have said a very interesting point. Does my arm ache while holding the camera? Yes, it does. Extremely. In fact, I feel like I've done a workout once I've, uh, once I've held it. The Vegas amusements. You see these two big amusement arcades just by the car park. It is random that they're here. They don't have too many big amusements on the seafront. So we're going to have a walk into the fun fair uh, for those people that have asked it, but I will have to uh, bring the audio down massively because I don't want to get a copyright strike. You can see the umbrellas, Rachel, just there in the distance. One of my favourite rides here in Hunstanton. It's been a long um, obsession of mine. Every time I come to Hunstanton, I have to go on them. And as a kid, fond memories of the ghost train. Possibly one of the scariest ghost trains I um, ever remember going on. I don't know whether it's changed. Oh, Lewis, I understand what you mean now. Do they have a Punch and Judy there? Back in the old day, they used to have, and I remember seeing the Punch and Judy somewhere around here. Um, place to get fish and chips as well. Yes, my arm is aching. Ellie, Goulston is lovely. It's got a very nice beach in Goulston. Tracy, could the gimbal be attached to a hat? The only problem is, well, yeah, you could do, but the problem is, is that you it, it still get a weird perspective when you put it on. You can get like this this thing that attaches to your head, but it looks weird. Right, I'm gonna have to take this music down, uh, the background music, just a little bit because it is gonna be very loud in the fun fair, and there's lots of music playing. Fish and chips here. Sally's fish and chips. What's wrong with his face? He's got no, he's got no face. I think it makes it even more scary. Right, I've ducked the music down because it is very loud in here. The galloping horses, there you go. When people keep saying, are they gallopers? Are they a carousel? The gallopers here in Hunstanton. John Wilkes, thank you very much for your £5 super chat for the petrol fund. Much appreciated. And remember, John, everyone that gives us a super chat, we do put you in the draw at the end of the month to get a Walk With Me mug. You never know, you could win it. 
this place is called Rainbow Park. It's um, it's an amusement park on the seafront, which has been here for years. They have just added the Helter Skelter and the Big Wheel, which, but I'm sure when I was a kid, they used to have these here. There's lots of music in here, as I said. So if you hear the background music duck, because if I turn it up, that's what you're going to hear. But I need to take it way down. Are there any waltzers in there, James? There are some waltzers in here. There's um, pretty much every single kind of fun fair ride that you would normally get at a fun fair. Press one for a camper van fund. <laughs> camper van fund. Wouldn't that be amazing? Walk with me camper van trips. That music express. Yeah, that's one of my favorites actually coming here. The ghost train further up the top there. I say I, I should go on it again because I remember it was... Um, it was quite scary as a kid. The Sea Dragon. No, it's just a children's coaster. I don't know. But um, the... Uh, where is it? That that I call it like the twist. There it is. There's the twist. It's just on the right-hand side. But a lot of people, it's tradition when you come to Unstanton, you come to the fun fair. And I'm so glad they've never got rid of it. You can see the two new rides there, though. And they do look good at night as well. They've got UV lighting on them, which looks really nice. Thank you. Yeah, lots of music. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm just uh, taking this down. There's some dodgems as well. What's the best ride there? Well, I'll let you decide that. What is the best ride there? It's a, it's a traditional big wheel. I mean, if I had a garden big enough, I'd definitely have one of those in the garden. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they're, apparently they're travelling. They're not they're not based here all the time. I don't understand why, but there used to be a Helter Scout here. I remember it. Close-up shot of the umbrellas as well coming up. Please give a thumbs up for the big wheel. Look at that for a shot. Any keen vi videographers <laughs> get the sun glimpsing through that. It's such a treat. Always looks so nice, doesn't it? I can't remember the last time I went on a big wheel, actually. Always used to scare me, though, as a kid. Used to think I was going to fall out and kill myself. But if you're scared of heights, it's not too bad. But it is, I'm probably sure it's higher than you think when you're on it. Sarah, good afternoon. Welcome to the live stream here in Hunstanton. This is a pre-recorded live. I'm doing the voiceover because of the signal. And um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like it. We will be coming live as well on Wednesday evening this week. If you haven't checked out the two videos from Blackpool, they're on my channel now. Once you've watched this, make sure you check them out. I check out the piers of Blackpool underneath them as well. Very unique. And if you like fun fair rides and stuff like that, I walked around the iconic Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is uh, celebrating 150 years of being in business. Lewis, I would do a camper van walk with me, Tim. Or a camper van with me, Tim. That would be good. You can actually hire some camper vans around Great Yarmouth, but they are blooming expensive. I will bring the I will bring the background up when we get away from the fair. Someone asked if there's some waltzers. They are some waltzers there. Tina and Melissa, I appreciate the thumbs up emojis, but hitting the actual thumbs up itself on the video—that's what I mean. I've always found this area a bit of a waste, just outside the fun fair. They could do with something here, couldn't they? I don't know what. They could put something there, couldn't they? Nice shot of the big wheel and the Helter Skelter. So the Sea Life Centre just here on the right. I can bring the music and the background back up again now. Janet, there probably was. I can't remember that, to be honest. Yeah, this used to be the Sea Life Sanctuary, now as the Sea Life Centre in Hunstan. No, I think it's still life. It is still the, the Sea Life Sanctuary, and there's um, some penguins in there to go and check out. I don't know if they're still there. Melissa, are you afraid of flying due to a fear of heights? I don't really have a fear of heights, to be honest, Melissa. I was just joking. Um, I think the wash monster's going back out again. Yeah, it looks like it's full up. Ready to go back out. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> Helen, you're right. Me and Waltzers do not mix. Getting ready to go. He's going to honk the horn.
Wave goodbye to the sea monster. Out and about. He's going off again. I don't know if they're named. But you can book these directly from the beach. You can also um, do private ones as well. They do rope the area off so people won't get hit by them. I love the fact that he's reversing out. <laughs> you don't see that very often. He's reversing out. You'll see the propeller on the back because someone was saying, how does it... I can see how it goes on the sand, but how does it go out in the water? When it moves, you'll see there is a propeller at the back as well. Pretty unique machines. James, I don't know because I don't really have a fear of heights, to be honest. Cara, I did go on the waltzes in Blackpool. I did go a funny shade of green. Green. Baba, it's it's like I've planned it. It is like I've planned this. Renato, thanks for updating us on your speeds of, for your internet. Melissa, I say that sometimes just so I don't have to go on certain rides with Gabby. I know, it's a bit of a cop-out, isn't it? 223 thumbs up. Let's get to 300 before the end of the stream. That would help me out no end. And don't forget as well, if you would like to see a full tour of Hun Stanton with drone footage as well, because it is pretty, pretty impressive, actually, from the air with the uh, the amazing cliffs of um, Hun Stanton. Do check out the link in the description uh, for the full Hun Stanton tour. This is a, a live video, though, of um, a live walk that I did, unedited. There's a lot of people up there. I want to go up there for a drink. I bet you'll take ages, though, to get one of those seats right at the end, though, wouldn't you? Again, anyone else know who's been coming to Unstanton for years? These This Thompson's place where they've um, done the artwork. I'm sure that was like that when I was a kid. And bearing in mind, I'm, you know, pushing an old age now. Wesley, they would. But I don't think they would allow me to film when there's other people on it. So I'd have to do maybe a private tour. <laughs> Scott, I love that. This must be the view Peter Crouch gets when he goes for a walk. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Stephen, get a mechanical arm gimbal. They are expensive, though. No, I don't need one of those. This does it fine. Uh, good afternoon, Andrew. Hello from Thailand. Weather looking good in the UK. We get Rocky Thompson Nogart sent to us in Thailand. Do you really? Amazing. Tanita, where is Gabby? Gabby's um, not here today. She will be back very soon. Amanda, it's always the way, isn't it? You can't control the British weather. Can you show me where the old railway station used to be? Karen, I'm actually... I don't... I can't remember, to be honest. Philip, um, just saw your message. Yes, if you'd like to give a super chat, the bottom right hand uh, of the chat, there's a little emoji face and like a square dollar sign. You press that if you'd like to give a super chat. Thank you. That's the Oasis swimming pool. Very plastic. I'm surprised no one's... At no, I'm not going to say that. 237 thumbs up. Keep the thumbs up coming as we're doing a live. It helps me out no end. It pushes out to more of my subscribers. Um, just let me know, by the way, did you get a notification that this live was going on? Just say yes or no. Did you get a notification that this live was going on? Or did you just happen to come across it? Scully, absolutely right. Most people say I'm 32. <laughs> Some of you did get a notification. Yes, you did. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work for some people, though. Yes, Helen, Foxy B, Midnight Raven, Belvedere, Ellie, Lydia, Duncan. Yes on emails. Center of minus 30 minutes for YouTube. Decimate. That's good, isn't it? 
Yes, Ideal Extra, ITV, Ideal Shopping Direct Limited. That is a name for a YouTube channel, if I've ever heard one. Michael. <laughs> Stuart, thanks for that. Uh, Lid Linda, she had a notification. We'll just walk up this way before I go underneath the pier, before we... Um, we wrap up today, today's live stream. Hope you've enjoyed it from Hun Stanton. As I said, I can't do an actual live from here because the signal is rubbish, so I have to do it like this. And also, because the signal quality goes a bit rubbish, that's why I wanted to do it pre-recorded and then do a bit of a live chat this um, bank holiday weekend. Don't forget as well, I'll be live on Wednesday evening and um, another video upload on Friday and live again on Sunday. So yeah, keep your notifications on. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, <laughs> yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos from the great British seaside. I also do some tours around some cities as well. I'm just choking. I haven't even had a drink or anything. So there's a guy in a bandstand up here. He's been doing some live music all day. I don't know whether he gets um, advertised to appear there or not. I don't know. Catherine, it's, um, it's been a long winter. You don't want to see my legs. They're very pale at the moment. It came with a thumbnail this morning. Yeah, Philip, I did do that. Amanda, the signal was bad when I was here, yeah. Was there May the 7th. Went to the clock shop on the green. Very help, very helpful people that run it. Dick, I had to read that twice. Yeah, so let's go and have a look underneath the pier because this is very weird. It looks like it's been cut off, doesn't it? It's one of, I think, bear, tell me if I'm wrong, this is the only peerless pier in the country. Or maybe I could be wrong. James, there must be. By the way, they've won a Seaside Award as well this year, Hun Stanton, so that's for uh, water quality and beach quality. Remember, the rocks that you see on the beach is not littering or anything like that. That's just natural, so they've still won an award for um, cleanliness of the beach, which is great. Cara, I don't know what you mean by that. Amanda, thank you very much. See you, Wesley. Have a good afternoon. So, I have to go under the piers. I can't really go on. Well, I can go underneath this one, but just to show you what's really under here, I'm just going to have to duck this down because there's some music. But they never used to have an entrance to Hunstanton Pier from here. So they've added this now. So you can actually get to the, uh, the pier or the amusements, basically, underneath, which you never used to be able to do. So a nice touch, but um, just having a look what's inside... They've got a lot of mirror action going on there. Make, it makes it look massive, but that's the art of mirrors for you. But just out here, some little kids' rides. Now, you would have thought that you would be able to see the old footings of the old pier, but you can't. You don't see them anymore. Hello, Sean. Simon, hello to you. Hope you're good this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. Yeah, Dick, thanks for that. That's your name. And that's the the end of the pier. The very end of Hunstanton Pier. Bernadette looks warmer there than down here near Beckles. Quite a cold wind blowing. I wish I was up there. It looks amazing and warm. There is a bit of a cold breeze. I'm not going to lie. That sea breeze is really kicking in at the moment. 251 thumbs up. Let's get to 300 thumbs up before the end of the stream. It would help me out enormously, all right? So if you haven't given the video a thumbs up, please make sure you hit it now. Do it. 251 go 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 David thank you very much for your three pound super sticker appreciate that and thank you very much David you uh, really have been watching all my videos I see your comments coming up I really appreciate you know a lot of people when they find the channel they only look at the last two videos but obviously if you click onto videos there's playlists and there's so many videos you can check out uh, if you uh, if you've got some time you're a bit bored you want to go and check them out 
So we saw beach huts at the other end. These are different. These are kind of like little beach chalets. Um, and it just tells you the pr that's 2017. So I don't know if these prices are right now, but daily rental 19 pound, weekly rental eight. I'm sure these prices have gone up. Seasonal 622 pounds. You can get electric in there, but um, you can't stay in them overnight. And pretty much all it is is can you see that? Yeah, there's a little bar and a little room that you can stay in, and that's it. Some tables and chairs. At least you get them. You can have them out the front. Hello, Nunkfish is here. Welcome, Nunkfish. Adrian, it's 21 degrees in Dorset today. If you want to know the temperature right now, it's 16 degrees on the coast, but the sun makes it a little bit more bearable. There's some more here. They're on a different level as well, just up here. Can you see that? Amazing. Philip Wheeler, thank you very much for your £4.99 super chat. You don't get walking under Hunstanton Pier. <laughs> well, I had to do it. John, welcome to the stream. Nice blue sky there. It is beautiful today. Cold wind. Was in Yarmouth last week. Not great, though. Douglas, the weather last week was rubbish, wasn't it? Really was coffee shop up here 25 degrees in my back garden today Julie making me jealous the sun is very deceiving this time of year I was trying to explain this to Holly I was like she was she was moaning it was cold and I said you're gonna get sunburned she went but it's not hot and this this myth that we all have in this country that it has to be hot to get sunburnt or to get a tan you don't it's all to do with the strength of the Sun Tracy it is cold in Norwich 264 thumbs up come on we need to get to 300 before the end of the video please guys so the beach up here is not that great but persevere with Hunstanton Beach because if you walk towards the old part which is just up there the beach becomes beautifully sandy and um, this is Hunstanton Sailing Club I believe if you remember you can see out there very exclusive Ink spiller, it's not cloudy. That's um, sea mist that is formed into low cloud. It's coming off the North Sea, I know. Tim, what is it like? Uh, is Kessingland. What? Helen? What is Kessingland seafront like? There's not really much in Kessingland, to be honest, apart from the beach. You can go bodyboarding from here as. Bodyboarding. Um, you can go paddleboarding from here as well. There's a place to hire them and kayaks as well. Thanks, John. Yeah. You can get some... Um, I would recommend the North Sea is too cold this time of year. Definitely get a wetsuit. 268 thumbs up. Come on, we're nearing the end of the stream. We need to get to 300 thumbs up. That would be amazing. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, hit that thumbs up now. Do it for me, please. <laughs> Am I sounding desperate? The reason why I ask for your thumbs up is because it helps it push it out to more of my subscribers. Connection is good, even though we're down here right at the old part and uh, dwarfed by the cliffs as well. Thank you, Judy, for the relaxing Sunday walk. You're welcome. Hello, Christian. David, it has indeed that cloud. I think it's going to be like that. If the, uh, the it, You only have to go inland just a little bit to get the sun and the warmth, but um, this time of year, when you get the onshore breeze and it brings in the mist, it can be a little bit rubbish. Uh, hello to English Cat. Hello to Ned, Joe, and Frankie the dog. There's some random. I don't know if these are new. There's some random beach huts here. Just randomly just placed. I haven't seen these before. They must be new ish. I don't know. 281 thumbs up. Almost at 300. So after this stream is finished, do check out my other two videos from this weekend from Blackpool. Uh, the first one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and the other one exploring Blackpool Piers. I will be live on Wednesday evening. We're coming to you live from Felixstowe on Wednesday evening. And I do another epic walk from the, um, from the seafront in Felixstowe towards the old part of Felixstowe. And uh, another video upload on Friday. Simon, is he crispy? Is Simon doing the dating thing again?
Yeah, persevere with the beach. Literally just walk around the corner there and the beach is absolutely beautiful as you go um, towards Brancaster, Wells um, and some of the best beaches in Norfolk. So make sure you do check them out. Keep the thumbs up coming. Thank you very much for watching the uh, live. Today I'll uh, leave you with this view. I will see you live on Wednesday. Check out in the description for a full Hunstanton tour. And check out my other videos from this weekend. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday.